Good afternoon everyone and welcome back. It's been a good week since I picked up the camera and spoke to you all. Last week was so incredibly windy that I actually had no other choice but to stay inside because it was just horrible. I had, I had a pretty good plan to sort the van out last week but it just didn't happen. The weather was too horrific so instead I stayed inside and just kept myself busy really. I sort of became a little bit obsessed with hoovering the internet for candle information. <laughs> but it's good because I actually really needed to spend the time doing the research and having the same information go in my head over and over again. And yeah, and as a result I have some candles here that I'm just leaving to cure because apparently that's quite an important step in candle making, which I've not been doing. So I'll be able to burn one of them tonight and see how it goes. I've still not got a successful candle yet, but I think I'm close. I think I'm really close. But yeah, it's good. I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying it. Just putting my everything into this, this thing. Um, yeah, I'm just going with the flow and and I've got something cool to show you. So last week I planted these hyacinth bulbs and this week they're starting to sprout and it's so exciting. <laughs> it's incredibly difficult to not get your finger and try and find where the other sprouts come in from because I desperately want to know. I'm so impatient. <laughs> but yeah, here they are creating life in my window. I'm a little bit ashamed to say that I've never actually planted bulbs before or any kind of plant for that matter. But yeah, to see them pop up like that, oh, it's so exciting. I've been watching them every day to see if they've been growing more and 
Yeah, they have. So I don't know how long it's going to take them to flower and actually bloom because I am quite late planting them. I should have done them probably a month ago, but yeah, I forgot about them. <laughs> but the main thing is that they are shooting up. So keep tuned to see how I do with growing a hyacinth. Might be an absolute disaster or they might actually bloom into a flower. So today we need to go to the next village along. There's like a small town. Ash needs to collect a parcel and we need some food as well. And I thought, I'm getting a bit cocky now, since Hyacinth is doing well, I thought maybe, maybe should I get some more seeds and see what I could do. Um, I think we might go into the garden centre and have a little look. See if we can just get a little cheap starter kit in case it goes terribly wrong <laughs> because this next village along isn't that cheap it's not like town prices where everything's a nice price this is um, a little bit more but it'll be good to just try and get some and yeah see what we can do so I will bring you along for that Our goodies and we got some seeds here compost and little potting trays and muffins go diesel man go fetch us some diesel <laughs> Okay, so it's a few days later now and I'm ready to plant my seeds. I've just been doing a little bit of research and <laughs> translating the back of the packets and um, it's safe to say I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> I am so confused and I just don't understand any of it. So we're off to a brilliant start. So. I'm going to have to sit down and translate it some more until I understand what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> this really shouldn't be so hard. <laughs> the most important question though is, what did I get? So, I'll show you my little seed haul. I've got some celery, some salad, onions, beetroot, baby cucumbers, which are called baby F1. <laughs> so cute, baby F1 and um, spinach and uh, I can't remember the name of that one parsley okay so I've decided that there's too many rules for each individual seed so I've decided I'm just going to plant them and see what happens I don't know what I'm doing so and if we grow anything then that would be brilliant and if not then we know that that's not how you do it <laughs> I have to admit though, I do feel embarrassed not knowing how to plant and grow my own food. Um, I'm going to be 30 this year and if the world ended, I, I don't know what I would do. Like, how would I get food if there was no shops or anything? Can I eat grass? I don't know. I just feel, yeah embarrassed and sad that I don't know how to do this stuff. I just feel like this is something that everybody should know. Um, I have a very vague memory of learning this in school, but I think it was in like primary school or something. 
so it's not really um, it's not really stuck with me. I feel like this sort of stuff should also be learnt when you reach high school and yeah, when you're a bit older, when you can actually retain the information, <laughs> not when you're in bloody primary school. And apart from that, I guess it's up to your parents as well. Um, I do remember trying to grow some tomatoes one year with my mum and I think we did get some. I seem to remember just picking them off and eating them before we could actually use them in a dish or anything. I guess nowadays it's just, it's so much easier to just go to the shop and get whatever you need. Yeah, I'm excited to see um, what I can grow and what doesn't grow. What do I want to grow most? I'd really love for the celery to grow and the cucumber um, and onion because, yeah, well, in fact, I want all of it to grow. <laughs> Feel free to share any gardening knowledge that you may have for a beginner. And uh, if there's anything that you're planting this year as well, I'd like to know what other people are planting in different zones and regions. I think we're a zone five, four, five. So that's why I'm starting them inside because our period of growing isn't too long. Also, look how much this has grown since I last showed it you. It was literally two days ago and it's grown like inches, actual inches. I can't believe it.